Why you What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up, brother? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. We are back at Disney's Hollywood Studios for the first day of the new Star Wars attraction. They added a couple new scenes with the Mandalorian and Ahsoka, Rogu. It's really cool because any other small additions to rides might just be like, aha, a little novelty. But this is like a whole new ride, you know? The actual coaster will move differently. We don't know what we're gonna embark on as far as the adventure, so I'm really excited. It's basically a new ride in my mind. Also, I have another fun story, uh, story, story to tell you guys. It's a little delusional, but like, I think you guys will appreciate it. We are making our way into Disney's Hollywood Studios right as the sun is setting, right before dusk, honestly, and I love the vibes. There's a good breeze, it's not too hot, not too cold. Speaking about Soka, we got some merchandise. I've seen a lot of people actually carry this around. Obviously, not the biggest uh, fan. It's not really my vibe, the ears, but they do look really pretty. Disney's always putting out new Star Wars merchandise, I feel. Every time I come into a Star Wars store, there's just something new. This is like a whole thing to read. I think it's the, oh yeah, the confrontation between Ahsoka and Darth Vader. Definitely go check out that on YouTube after you watch my video. It's actually one of my most favorite scenes in all of the Star Wars, like, history. Fun fact, Sabine Wren is actually meeting at Galaxy's Edge over on the west coast for a limited time. I wish we got a new character, but you know, I I'm used to it at this point. We got a weighted Grogu. Oh my gosh, it's weird because weighted pillows like are mischievous. <laughs> like They look so cute and you try to pick it up, it's almost like a workout. I could do some curls with this. Speaking about lifting, that's actually why I'm coming a little bit later today. I'm really trying to you know, emphasize and keep my mental and physical health in check. And that means, you know, not skipping the gym. I'm not mad though. It seems a lot more chill in the afternoon compared to yesterday. It's very busy. Also a big shout out to everyone who really appreciated me kind of personifying the vlog. I realized on my break, something that's really important to me is, you know, including mental health, you know. It's always been a thing, but I kind of forgot it and it kind of fell to the wayside. So I'm definitely gonna Try to keep up with that more often. Also, look, and the mode. That was so cool when she signed my hat. A lot of you guys said I should get that hat to um, be the new character hat. You know, all the characters sign that hat, and I am definitely down for that. Don't be misguided by my optimism. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, still at a 90 minute wait. I don't think I've actually been on this ride this year yet. I'm not sure. Something that y'all might not know is that in front of the Chinese theater, they actually have different characters and real people with their handprints like cemented in here. It's pretty dope. There's some really fun stories. I mean, right here we got Mickey Mouse. You can see his hands and his shoes. And this is something that I feel like a lot of people do know, but I know there's at least one person watching my channel right now who actually didn't know this. So I'm glad I can provide them this information. C3PO, speaking about Star Wars, always making new friends. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Um, California. Okay. And did you have fun today in Disney? Yeah. It's literally night and day how different this place is when nothing's open. <laughs> like in the daytime, yesterday's vlog, this place was bustling with characters and families. But now that all the characters went away, there's not much to do in the animation courtyard. Especially with the in-character gift store being closed since uh, the Little Mermaid show hasn't reopened yet. Yeah, it's kind of just like... A ghost town. Most of the entertainment at Disney's Hollywood Studios closes around 5. I wanted to meet Chewbacca, Darth Vader, but another day. But I do have a little cast member story relating to Star Wars characters. And when it happened to me, I thought I was going crazy. Like, I thought I was literally going delusional. But I wasn't the delusional one. It was the woman talking to me. No shade against this person, but it literally was the most magical, scary, and confusing experience as a Disney cast member I ever experienced. Like, like, like it, it was nuts. I gotta set the scene. We gotta go to the scene of the crime. How does someone just leave a wheelchair in the middle of the park? Did they just get tired of being pushed around and started walking? I mean, technically speaking, I guess that's a better <laughs> outcome. Let's take a step back in time. Imagine two years ago, Jojo just picked up some trash from the Hyperion Theater that was on the stairs. As I go put the trash in the trash can, that's when I'm approached by a lady. We'll just call her Becky. I don't remember her name. I don't even know if she knew her name at this point. This is the exact spot I was in. I just wasn't sitting. You're not allowed to sit as a custodial or most cast members when you're on stage, which is the term when you're you know, in the park. Because this is a huge show production, right? So backstage is backstage. Anyways, 
I had a lady come up to me and she literally just goes like, hey, I'm trying to find a friend. He's a stormtrooper. So I'm instantly thinking like, oh, this person knows someone who is performing as a stormtrooper. I was completely wrong. My response is, I don't really know that many stormtroopers. What's his or her name? You know, I want to try to help the guests as much as possible. And she was like, oh, I only have his uh, ID number. So I'm like, oh, that's weird. Like, you remembered a man's Disney, like, partner number. So I'm like, okay, this person must be really invested. So I'm like, oh, like, what is it? And then she says B17-23. And I'm like, that's definitely a strange partner. So I started getting a little suspicious. But then she was like, but he messaged me and he told me to come visit him today. So I'm like, oh, okay, this all makes sense now. Maybe this guy met this girl and he was like, hey, come see me during one of my sets. I've had friends um, in entertainment tell me to come visit them. You know, you get their schedules. You don't really like, like to publicize that too often. That's kind of like a, a break in contract, but when it's like a close friend, it's okay. Disney understands that we all get it. It's really cute. It's fun when you get to see your friends while you're performing. Um, so that's what I was thinking. But then the plot thickens because I'm like, okay, can you tell me to turn a number one more time? And say, no, if I, if I say one more time, I will get in trouble. He will get fired. And I'm like, no, as I just told you guys, that's okay. You won't get fired. I'm like, I, I mean, I know other uh, entertainment leads I can contact. We can make this work. If he messaged you, if he wants you there, I can help you out. And she's like, no, their boss is going to get me in trouble. I just saw their boss. And I was like, what boss are you talking about? And she goes, Captain Phasma, if that's the correct term. Captain Phasma is the boss of the Stormtroopers in the new trilogy. Um, is it Phasma? I think so. And at the time, they still had the Star Wars fashion show, which is right over there. And that's when it hit me. I'm like, oh, we're in the Delulu. Um, I don't know what the Salulu is going to be. <laughs> and I just completely turned on my Disney like lingo. And I just started talking to her like I was in the story. I don't know if I was scared or if I was having fun with it or just trying to help this person who was very, very like shook at this point she was on the verge of crying she was getting emotional and that's when i was like what what the heck and i'm like oh don't worry captain phasma has already left like you'll be fine i can um reach out to someone i can send the messenger and she's like no no please like i don't want to get in trouble like i have the message they will be able to find me and she starts crying and it's like and this person is just like being so mean i don't know why the Supreme, not the Supreme Court, the Empire, whatever thing she said. At this point, I'm like one year out, one year in. I'm just looking around if I can actually find someone to help this poor woman. And she just starts continuing to cry and cry, saying that this person harasses her and like wants her to join the dark side. And she was just going crazy. Like she was literally just having a mental break. I, I don't know. So I tried to apply logic. I was like, hey, do you have someone I can call? And she's like, no, my Land Rover or my, my Hello Carrier is like not here. And normal Earth information was not working. So I decided to kind of role play. I was like, hey, hey, I'm friends with Ray, Chewbacca, and Finn. And she's like, really? And I'm like, yes, I'm very close with them, you know. And I did feel kind of close with them at the time because I was making a lot of Star Wars content. It's like, they will protect you. I will make sure to keep an eye on you. You will be protected under whatever galactic thing I said at the time. And she literally just stopped crying. She said, oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's like, but what are we going to do about the stormtrooper? If I don't see him, he's going to get mad at me. And I was like, okay, hear me out. They're going to come down uh, Hollywood Boulevard in about 15 minutes. Hey! <laughs> um, Maybe if you just wave off in the distance, you're not too close, or in a proximity of getting in danger, but at least the stormtrooper will acknowledge your presence with the Imperial March. And she was like, that sounds good. And I was like, okay. And then she was like, where's the bathroom? Which is right over there. Over there. And that was my cue. The minute she went to the bathroom, I was like, holy, I didn't know what I just experienced. It was complete delusion. I hope that lady's okay. I actually asked her where her family was, but she said she traveled here on her own. I'm assuming her family was staying at a hotel. 
Um, she was an older woman. It was just nuts. Like it to this day, it sticks out in my head. And I'm giving you the short version because I'm just talking to the camera at this point. But again, I'm trying to personify my vlogs and kind of just add more to just a new ride in Disney because everyone can do that. But not everyone can talk about a delusional lady, a delusional Star Wars fan who actually thought her reality was um, Star Wars. And also she thought she was in danger. When she started crying, that was the scariest thing. I actually reported it to one of my co-workers just to like keep an eye out and never heard anything again. So I guess what I said calmed her down. The psychological side of me just wonders, was she like not okay? Cause like if someone had some kind of uh, mental issue or like physical issue, I'd assume she'd be with a party, but she was just by herself. And she was like a woman. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> maybe this is just therapy for me. I'm just getting it off my chest. Point is after that happened, the rest of the day, I just didn't know what to do. I just, I, I was in shock. I had to make sure I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> in less than 24 hours, we were back at Star Tours. It's at a 25 minute wait right now, which is honestly not that bad at all. On a normal day, I would assume maybe it's like a walk on, but I actually think it's like a 25 minute wait today. As we see, they updated the banner. Um, the banner before, you saw it yesterday, it was like the final assault on the uh, Empire's like big secret fleets. But now we have Star Tours actually flying with the big space whales, which I love that. That's, that's really dope. That's a scene straight out of uh, Ahsoka from the newest show on Disney+. Plus. Unfortunately, there has been no news about Jedi training coming back. Guys, please. There's no reason. I mean, it's just more money. But like, I know this is the kind of stuff that like makes Disney Disney, you know, seeing a kid fight Darth Vader, it's so sick. Also, look at the AT-AT. -AT. It actually shoots, makes noises. This whole like queue actually looks cooler at nighttime. Now I did talk to a cast member. There are three new scenes they're adding. You got stuff from Andor, the movie, great movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's like really good. Uh, the Mandalorian, Grogu, and then Ahsoka. So there's gonna be like new scenarios. You're gonna go to different planets and new transmissions. So they all can appear on the screen when they're like, we need your help. And as of right now, you are guaranteed to get at least some of that. Now each uh, tour is different so you can get a combination. It's like rolling a dice. Um, it's gonna be really hard to see everything new but I'm gonna try to at least ride it twice tonight. I am waiting on my lightning lane so until then I want to just look at some merchandise, get a nice little vibe, talk to you guys about some of my future plans. The Dark Lord of the Sith. This is something I'd get like a niece or nephew or something but not really my vibe. I feel like maybe just the Darth Vader head would be enough. The font's a little too much. Now this merchandise is cool and all, but I think they should have like space whale plushies. I also found out, I re or at least I remembered the name of the whale. It's a Purgle, and they are like the original creators of using the force to travel the galaxy. Li uh, light speed was invented, or at least we learned how to do light speed travel through the Purgle whales in the Star Wars lore. Yeah, g just give me a big fluffy whale, space whale. Like, that's a, th that's cute. I, I would buy it. It doesn't seem like they've released any uh, made of fourth merchandise just yet. Oh my gosh, L. Hi. This is so weird. I'm not used to running into my friends in the Disney parks. As strange as that is, a lot of my friends don't really do the parks no, too often. I don't. I was having a solo day today. I went to Epcot first and And then I you came, came here. here. Yeah. Did you do the new Star Tours? No, I didn't do it, no. Are you gonna do it? I didn't even know there was this new Star Tours until I watched your video this morning. Oh, King. thanks for watching, girl. Let's go. Yeah, that <laughs> I'm was a supportive yesterday. friend. I appreciate it. Um, so what are you doing for the rest of the night if you're not going to do Star Tours? Um, I have to go deal with some administrative things right now, and then <laughs> we're gonna go do. That sounds so <laughs> sketchy. I know, Administra just, um, and then we're gonna go to. Um, Rise of the Resistance because it's uh, my friend's first time doing it. Oh, okay. I was about to say, fine, you get a pass if you're being a good host. Um, I am. I'll tell all my friends that I saw you. Yeah, no, I'll tell all of our friends that we saw you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Say a message to someone that we know right now just so they watch the video. <laughs> is it who I think it is? Yeah, yeah. You could. What, are we. Are Jeet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, say something to Jeet. Yeah. Say something to Jeet. 
Hi, wish you could be here. Oh no! <laughs> Without a doubt, this is one of my favorite locations at Disney's Hollywood Studios. But not as a guest, as a cast member. Because if you got this shift as a custodial, you're going to have a fun six hours. Because there's nothing really to do here. You have one attraction which doesn't necessarily attract too many people. You know, Muppet Vision. And you got Pizza Rizzo's, which again, some people love it, some people hate it. And you got a restaurant all the way in the back. And that's the only thing I really had to clean. The restaurant, bathroom, and then Pizza Rizzo actually has two bathrooms. Uh, one up on the second floor, which no one ever goes to. Like, that was my solace. I used to sing and dance in that bathroom to the pizza pie song. And then you got uh, Gonzo's Royal Flush right here. Either way, it was a relaxing time, especially at nighttime. Like, I'd be working at these hours, and I mean, look at this. Nobody's here. This was a good day. And my most stressful days was uh, Toy Story Land, but I, I can tell you more about that a different day. The only thing that makes me sad about Pizza Rizzo's is that they actually block off the second floor after a certain amount of time, or if it's just not a busy day, they keep it closed, which makes sense. You don't want people making a mess if you don't have to, but the bathroom's up there. Low-key don't need something else to spend money on slash collect, but the souvenir coins here are Muppet Vision 3D. If you think about it, Go around the park, you'll see a lot of these machines. There's actually a ton of unique uh, souvenir coins. One souvenir coin for one dollar. Should we do one? Okay, fine, fine. I actually have never gotten a souvenir coin <laughs> in Disney World. Let's do it right now with Muppet Vision. Oh, you can actually use the app to find more coin locations. That's pretty cool. All right, so you just scan, All right? Does this work? Try again. Okay, cool, I still have money in my bag. Wait, I just spent three dollars? Dang. Oh wait, what's going on? It's moving. Guys, I'm not trying to be dramatic. Do I pick one? Or is it just gonna do it for me? Oh, it's doing it, it's doing it. Oh, it's doing three, look at that. It's going in, wait. <laughs> Why am I so interested? That's all it does. Oh, did I get all three? Let's find out. Wow, this, that was kinda, oh, they're hot. Oh my goodness. We got all three. I thought it was more of a lottery system, but that's fine. Kermit's my favorite. I gotta give these away. Maybe I can give one to Jeet because, you know, he can't come here. I know why you guys clicked on this video, not to see the new Star Tours ride. No, no. You wanted to see my review of the Muppets 3D Souvenir Coins press machine. And my review? It's great. I love it. Is it a waste of money? No. And I definitely recommend you guys spend all the money in the world on Souvenir Coins. But seriously, the reason why I came over here is just I wanted a quiet place. One thing that I've been thinking about doing, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it yet, is I want to go to Disneyland for the Pixar Fest. Let me know down below, is that something you would like to see? Because flights over to uh, California aren't too bad right now, but hotels in Disneyland, I feel like all the time now, just so expensive. I usually stay at the Howard Johnson so I can reach out to them. But yeah, I'm just kind of telling you guys my internal thoughts. This is literally what I'm thinking about right now. I've never seen hydraulics at nighttime. It's pretty cool. I like the lighting. Some of my friends actually work in theme park lighting and displays around Universal and Joe and oh, I was about to say Joe. I thought some guy was calling my name and uh, Disney. So yeah, I appreciate the small things. Just in case you were wondering, I tried the bouncing mini churros, savory churros, top of Coca Cola, bacon, and a sriracha aioli. It was good. Nothing too crazy. I did a full review on my channel. Always running into familiar friends. What's your name? Shut yourself out. Hey, uh, Tom Zor here, the Rogue Attraction. Just got off the new Star Tours. We had the Andor pre-scene Vader 2, which oh. means you're going to get original trilogy characters when you do the newer scenes. Wow, okay. For the Rebels and for Ahsoka and Mando. And we got the Purgle scene, which was amazing. That's really the scene I great. want. Um, animation. Like, oh, yeah. you're getting but, me excited. Yeah, man, it's it's worth it. I also got the new hoodie. Oh, it's a throwback to the original Star Tours. Wait, is that new merch in the gift store? Yeah, yeah new merch. Oh, wow. I thought there wasn't any new stuff. That's uh, that's you sick. Got launch. It's it's for the 30th anniversary of Disneyland's oh. Star Tours. But this is the original outfits that Cass used to wear. Um, oh, okay, yeah, day. yeah, that makes sense. That oh. looks good. Fair yeah, enough. Well, thanks right. for the information. No problem. <laughs> Have fun, man. Yeah. See you later. See you later, buddy. Bye. Star Tours has stayed at a consistent 25-minute wait. We're about to hop into Lightning Lane. Always making new friends. What's your name? Hi, I'm Abby. And Abby's mom watches the vlog. What's your mom's name? Terry. Hey, Terry. <laughs> Terry. Has it been like a fun and busy day today? Or? Crazy. I bet. Crazy, yeah. The most action Star Tours has seen in a while, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if mine works. I, my, uh... 
Ah, oh, we're good. Yeah, so this cost about $35 uh, for a one ride, technically, because, you know, Genie Plus. Let's go in. You stop shooting right when I start recording. Oh, yeah, now you can see it's really cool at nighttime. Okay, I should have known not to buy <laughs> Fast Pass, especially if I was coming at nighttime, because this is Lightning Lane. This is regular lane. It's not a 25-minute wait. It's a walk-on, so confirmed I wasted $30, but hey, man. You know, better safe than sorry. Look at all the departure times. I always have to shout out the original Star Tours pilot. You can see it says defective down there. Technically, he was put into Oga's, so I don't know, like, you know, it's just here. But I, I do like the Easter egg. Every now and then, he'll still talk. It's kind of sad, but hey, you know, his legacy lives on. Yeah, so Lightning Lane didn't really do anything. It brings you straight up to the merging point, and you still have to wait in the main line anyway. So, yeah, a little tip to save your money. <laughs> Don't do uh, Lightning Lane for Star Tours. I should have known this. Squeakity, squeakity, squeak, squeak, squeakers. Squeak, squeak. If you know that reference, let me know down below. Squeak it, squeak, squeak. The cool thing about Star Tours is that it actually has six different gates, aka six different theaters. So even if one theater isn't in operation like it is right here, you can still get a good guest flow of people going, and that's why you don't ever have too long of a line for Star Tours. Typical intro scene, I did ask for the back because I don't want to interfere with anyone's viewing pleasure. Especially with this one, normally, like, I don't really mind, but I'm trying to get as much like footage for y'all to witness the new scene. We forgot glasses. Oopsie. It's kind of funny how this scene was filmed so long ago, but it's still an integral piece of the story when talking about new stories and stars in 2024. That's a testament to Disney and Star Wars and storytelling, you know? Pretty dope. I'm actually so excited. Like, <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I was like excited for Star Tours. Like, I love Star Tours. Some people don't like it, personally. I really like it. Also, this whole room is crazy. We're basically walking over like the, me the mechanics of the whole ride right now. Anyway, yee, we're, we're, we're going in. This is, this is, this is, this is we've made it. Nothing bad's gonna happen. We are Mando festing Mando. <laughs> that was her idea. <laughs> I stole it from her, copyright. We need a proper pilot. Hey yo, C3PO, good to see you, buddy. Oh man, we got the 4K Stormtrooper, Darth Vader. Okay, no. Oh, oh, okay. Out. Am I the Rebel Spy? Please, 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 please. No, that's not me. I've never been the Rebel Spy. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's so bumpy in the back. Like my mom cannot ride this. Woo! 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 Oh gosh! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my lord! Oh, oh. Okay. This is madness. So we got Wookiee Planet, this is normal. This is nothing new, this is a normal scene. Oh. Alright, we should get a new character coming up here. Oh. Now what? Who is it? I'm here. Oh, Ahsoka. Star Tours. I've been looking for you. Ahsoka Tano. Greetings. Scorpio. Welcome to you're traveling with a friend of mine that has vital information for the rebellion. The spy. I knew it. Head to the rendezvous point I'm sending you. Good luck, Star Tours. Uh -huh. And may the force be with you. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, oh my gosh! The Star Oh, oh, what the Oh my god! Oh, I think on Mexico. I'm sweating, guys. I'm sweating. Oh, I'm Oh, this is nice. It's the whales! We're fighting on whale. Wow, this is crazy. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I'm sweating. Oh, the whale! Oh, woo! Sweating. Oh. We will be landing shortly. I do hope you have enjoyed your flight. Oh! Oh! On this month, Star Wars, thank you for joining us. Always making new friends. What's your names? Um, I'm Sarah Fox. Kyle Blank. And you guys enjoyed that. Obviously, yes. I heard your screams. Yes. You I made know. the Mando joke. Mando fest. But you didn't get it. Mando. So, so you're gonna, okay. are you going to go on it again? It. Yeah? Yes. 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 Do you overall like the new scene of Ahsoka? Yes. Yeah. So much better. Ride is 100% better now. Did yes. they make it more intense, you think? They did. They did. It feels a lot more real. It feels like you're more immersed in it. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that 100%. Well, go get Mando. Yeah. I, we're Mando <laughs> festing now. Mando <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Nice See you later. You. Ah, so here's the new merchandise. I can't believe I didn't see this. Star Speedo 1000 Star Tours, the adventure continues. You can even see the Star Tours vehicle right here. I think this has been around. Got a Star Tours hat. That's actually really cute. I think it says Star Wars. I don't know if this is part of the celebration or not, but like we got more merch on here. Dope. Well, first time going on the new Star Tours scene with Ahsoka and the Pergo. Awesome. We got the space whales checklist like seeing Ahsoka was really cool there's a lot of little nods to R2 and Ahsoka's connection because of Anakin so it, it was really sweet I feel like Star Wars fans love those little Easter eggs it's not too on the nose you feel me and one of uh, Ahsoka's like friends slash training droids was in the background who also helped train Anakin like a lot of cool references to not only the animated series but the movies itself and yet it felt more intense now I know the back is more intense but everyone in that room was screaming I don't know if it was because they added new scenes so the Imagineers and engineers can kind of fine-tune the vehicle but it felt more intense I was sweating because I got a new camera recently that's why I'm filming in 4k this thing is a lot lighter but I was still like flexing all of my muscles to get somewhat of a steady shot so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna try to go on it one more time to see if we can get any other differences it's like rolling a dice and I think I ran into some friends so and it says 25 minutes but we're gonna walk on I'm doing this for you guys so if you haven't already like this video always running into friends what's your names guys hi I'm Michaela and I'm Jessica so Jessica you didn't want to go on it no. You get nauseous. I do. This is a dangerous thing. I know, but I... You have FOMO. Yeah. You don't want to miss yeah. out. Yeah, we love also, Star Wars. We gotta go. I have to. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame you. I yeah. love the Tigger Fit. Thank you. I have one just like that. All right, let's go on. Ready? Let's we're go. hoping for Mandalorian, everybody. And now we're just walking through normal standby. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're back. How many times have you ridden? It's just once. I, I don't think I would do it more than twice tonight. But like, I'm excited. I really hope, I, I really hope. Let's get Mando. Mando, the force. Oh my gosh, it's even emptier than before. At least there was somewhat of a line. I totally wasted money. Hello, let's see what's in the lost and found. Anything good? Um, oh yeah, Mr. Hook, his hook. Fun fact, all of these are luggages down here and they have different luggage tags and stickers from different planets and that sticker right there, it's hard to see, but that's actually Treasure Planet. I had no idea. Look at all this, there's so many luggages. I'm sure there's more Easter eggs. I'm feeling good about this. We're on the opposite end of the room. Mando, Mando, please. Boarding closed, guys, we missed our flight. Oh no! <laughs> no, I think they're just looking for something, so they're making us wait outside for a hot sec. Mando, Mando, Mando. <laughs> we want it. How was that? Um, fantastic. We got the Purgles, and I love them because they're just, they're precious. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And we got Ahsoka, and I love her. She's my favorite. So. She's dope. No Mando, but hopefully next time. Hopefully next time. And you know what? As a content creator, I wanted to get all of them, but I realized, leave it for another day. Yeah. It'll be fun. Another day. And yeah. uh, how was Andor? How was Andor? Andor was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, can't help but love Andor. Yeah. So. 
It was beautiful. So Andor so or Ahsoka? Which one did you like more though? Andor? Andor? <laughs> no! Now you're Andor. making me want to go on it again. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Do you know that one spot with the light speed and it literally jerks you? Yes. yes. I thought that was like a, a, a issue, but... I, I think it's part of it. I think it's no, part it's of part it, of it. It's, it's like so a jump scare. It's, it's scary. Yeah. It's very scary. Yeah. Yeah. Jump scare confirmed in Star Tours. Oh, oh. Get oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Well, everyone, I tried to see as much as I could, but we only got Ahsoka both times i wouldn't try to force it all in one night because this allows me to come back and be excited when i'm here with my friends like krista uh i was about to say g g one day for sure um kevin matt barris they're kind of blocked out right now that's why i did this by myself tonight but as you saw i met some new friends i mean i went on the ride with some friends that i wasn't expecting to see at all so it was a really good night but we're not done yet. I wanna, I mean, the fireworks are happening and I never get to sit here and watch it. I honestly forget that Studios has a fireworks show. Fun fact, another cast member story, I helped someone get uh, engaged right before the fireworks show in Hollywood Studios. It was a kind of awkward situation because <laughs> then people aren't allowed to propose during a show to distract them. So I had to make it quick but memorable. And I think I did a good job. I hope they're still together. Ooh, Hercules. I love the projection. His merchandise fire. Yeah. By the way, the reference earlier was from Emperor's New Groove. Squickity, squickity, squick, squick, squeaking. I hope you guys are enjoying the 4K, by the way. I feel like it visibly just like looks better, you know? Also, I have a confession. I've never seen Wreck-It Ralph before. Seems like a good movie though. Should I watch it, guys? Again, the projection mapping on the Chinese theater for the show is so cool. The other night, I mentioned to you guys how I used to clean up the trash. This is what I would see every night. I mean, it was a great way to end the day. And I was like getting paid to just watch. That part is so loud for some reason. Listen. <laughs> Usually I leave, but I'm glad that we're waiting. Look, in Encanto? I didn't know they had th that scene in here. I guess that's cool. They can always visually update it. We got Raya, The Last Dragon, I believe. Cars, Kachow, Finding Dory, Amax, Frozen, Tangled, Up, uh, Meet the Robinsons, Treasure Planet. How many... Uh, people can you see on here? Pocahontas, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, and Little Magic right here. I remember watching this the first time I cried. Here we go. About to cry. Well, everyone, that was a fun Star Wars themed evening here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I love this park. I talked about why I loved it yesterday. I don't want to go, but I do have one more thing I need to take care of, and you guys are coming with me. And by the way, this building does not get enough love. <laughs> it's actually really pretty. Like this, I, I again, I don't know the story behind it, but there's a random Dalmatian here. Like, what, what, what's the vibe? What's the move? Like, what? Elephant, right there. What is going on? Oh, that's film reels. Ooh, we got some stickers down here. Any uh, references? I don't think so. Just talking about Europe. I thought I'd see like a Disney Cruise on Disney, like little cat sphinx. What's going on here? What is the vibes? As a custodian, one of the cool things you can do to uh, entertain guests on top of just giving a great personality is water art. You do have to get trained in this. There's a whole course. I took it. I was only really good at Mickey, but this guy is definitely doing Donald. He's doing a big one too. It's fun. You can't always do it, but when you have the time, uh, yeah, go for it. Look at this. 
it's weird because like it's very simple strokes, but it creates a very abstract picture. Wait, he's he's forgetting one thing. There it is. <laughs> That's a big Donald. Yeah, Donald. Zach, you're an artist. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, man. You have a good night. Thank you. you. Well, I'm gonna. I'll get a front picture of this. Here's a better look at uh, Zach Donald. Still, still, got, still got fill in the eyes, but yeah, yeah. But hey, we, we, you know, the fact that people can recognize it means you did a good job. Exactly. Filling in the eyes. This is the painstaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is into why. Um, I'm still vlogging, but heck yeah, Taco Bell. Let's go. I, I love Taco Bell. I actually haven't had it in a while, so now that I've tried it again, I just like want to keep eating it. Dragon Fruit Freeze. Hmm. Back in my house, I got a Baja Blast and some Doritos Locos Tacos. How are you guys doing? Why are you asking? I, I, I'm just, I'm wondering, where'd you guys go tonight? What'd you do? Great, we went to Agave Azul. Was it fun? We, we got Marg's. We did get Marg's. Was it yummy? Yep. Yeah, the marks were delicious. Did you like agave azul, sir? I did like agave azul. What'd you get to eat? Um, enchiladas. Hmm. See, now everyone's very confused because I told them to come into the living room. This is a setup. It's not a setup. It's not a setup. Yeah, I need nice. you guys to close your eyes. I know, Jojo. Oh, this I don't is know a setup. I like this. This no, is you're, a setup. You're okay. You get you get to witness. You're you're my helper. Why? Well, close your eyes. Pass? You get a free pass. Close your eyes. Is it a snake? No, you'll be fine. It's not gonna hurt. You'll be fine. Yes, no, but wait, wait, wait. Thank no, I, I'm gonna need your hands. So close your eyes and put out your hands. Oh. Both of them or one of them? Uh, one, one or two. Okay. Wait, what? One, one, one. Hit, uh, one. willingness here. She, <laughs> she, just, uh, she was like, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a lie. Cheat. <laughs> Stop. My eyes are closed. Close your eyes. Don't cheat. No cheating. It's are not gonna hurt you. Together? Yes. I, it's the goal is for you guys to figure out what I'm about to give you. It's a present. Okay. Hands up. No fighting. No fight. Hey. 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 Focus. Yes. G. Sorry. What? No. No cheating. Okay. I. I don't trust. I don't trust. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't move. Yeah. Okay. Ah, now you can. Ah, okay. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not. No, no. He's trying to scare you. Stop, stop. 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 Guys, guys, guys. Gee, you're scaring. Gee, you're scaring them. I'm scared. Close your eyes. I'm not doing anything. It's real. All right. Shh. You got. Look, Jed. Look what it is. It's not even anything bad. It's not even anything bad. Oh, I see why I'm the witness now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Now you guys can't look. Okay. I want you, you guys looking. can feel it. You can figure out can what I this start? is. Yeah, you Yo, can hold it. Like a okay, now, now, okay, now just feel it, hold it. Don't open your eyes. You gotta, you have to tell me what this is, okay? Ah, don't say it yet. Hold oh, on. Oh, I know what it is, well, I know what, what it is. is. Okay, so I'm gonna let Jeet go first. It's a penny. Yeah, it's a press penny. A press penny. Yeah, open your eyes. Straight from Disney, freshly made. Oh. I thought of you guys, and oh. especially you, because you can't get one. Why did you say that? What do you mean? Because you can't go to Disney. Oh, right. I so like that. that's from Disney, a, du a Disney souvenir. Wow, cute. This, this is really Love cool. Ambition. Guys, Love all three of you should say thank you to Jojo for this incredibly generous gift. One, two, three. Thank, thank you, you Jojo. Jojo. Yeah, so I didn't know you were coming over. I would have got you one too, but I, just, I, did, I didn't know you were coming it's over. It's all good, it's all good. Um, which, which ones do you got, by the way? You don't know their names. Is what? it all the same? What do you know? I got Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Yo, Kermit. <laughs> Kermit the Frog here. I'm glad you're excited. What you get? I um, can't lie, I don't know the Muppet. Wait, what? Let me see. Let me see. How does he? How do y'all not know the Muppets? I don't know. Who's this guy? Isn't that Miss Piggy? Wait, I can't how tell. How do you not know Miss Piggy? Kermit, what are you looking at? That's Miss Piggy. Here. I think that's a bear. That's, that's Fozzie. <laughs> Someone's a fan of Muppets, apparently. Is that? Is it Fozzie? It's like a bear. I don't know, it's, it's a bear. Is it like a hat on? Bear? I didn't know who Miss Piggy like was. Bear? That's Fozzie Bear. I, I, Fozzie I, can't bear. Read. I think you should have all of them. Well, see, that's so nice. But yeah. Yeah. Brittany's <laughs> face was like, I don't really want to give up. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, you can keep yours if you want. I guess. Well, guys, this is. <laughs> I think she just traded. That was a pin trading there. She was oh. like, uh, I think I want that one. Actually. Guys, this was very <laughs> sweet of you. And, you know, I'll hold this really near and dear to my heart. Thank you, JoJo and Kevin and Jen. I didn't do it. Yeah. Not Brittany. 
She rightfully had one though. You can't. Yeah, that's true. Can't, but Kevin gave his up. She like, actually like. But Kevin gave his up. Yeah. It's he just volunteered penny. hers, and she was like, "I did not agree to this." It's fifty-one cents. Yeah, I like fresh pennies. Yeah. You only spent fifty-one cents. No, it was actually a dollar each. What? what? This scammed you. <laughs> you 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 paid a dollar for a penny that isn't even usable. <laughs> you, they upcharge you ninety-nine pennies. That's great. No way, Jojo. That is like actually the dumbest thing you could do. Like. That is a horrible investment. You know what, Jojo? I like the gift. I really, really appreciate it. It's a thought that counts. You wanted to give it away. You're giving away Wait, money. All right, well, um... Jojo, what, I liked the gift. Thank you. Well, with all yeah, that... Yeah, I loved my video. It was yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> well, um... Remember, every day's a blessed day to be alive, and I'll see you in the next one. Star Tours. Woo. <laughs> Can you cut the cameras, please? That was very Does dumb. anyone want these? Like, I don't... <laughs> You're not supposed to be filming. <laughs>